Hi! In this movie, we will learn how to create a macro to refresh all the pivot tables in a workbook. To do that, first we need to create a blank workbook. Click on File, Save As, Browse. I have already created a folder in my desktop, so I'm going to save this file there. So I'm going to rename this file as a macro. And make sure you select either one format. Either you select binary workbook format or macro enable format. So for this movie, I'm going to select binary workbook format. So click on save. So once you save your workbook, head over to developer tab. Click on visual basic. Select this workbook and right click. Click on insert and insert a module. Once we have module in place, we need to define uh, the subroutine. We need to start writing a subroutine. So to do that, start with sub. I'm going to call this as a pivot refresh. Pivot refresh. Pivot refresh. Okay. So now we have to define our variables. So to do that, I'm going to start with the dim worksheet as worksheet dim pivot as pivot table now we have uh, two variables in place we need to start writing a loop for that I'm going to write for each worksheet in active workbook dot sheets and the second loop is for each pivot in worksheet dot pivot tables enter now we have defined out loops so we need to write uh, what it has to be done so for that I'm going to call pivot dot refresh table first it has to get refreshed and again I'm, I'm going to write another condition pivot dot update if you have any data any new data it has to get updated so once we have it have this one and we are going to loop through again we're going to loop through Go ahead and save this file. Close. And let's test this. I have a dummy workbook in my folder. So I'm going to open that. We have three pivot tables here. So I just run this macro. To do that, click on Alt F8. Select a macro. And click on Run. So now the macro has run. But we are not sure how to confirm that, right? So for that, let's check. Go to data table, select 64, and the unit price is 1800. I think that's what we have it here, right? So now go back and change that 1800 to 1000. Let's go back. Select any 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 sheet is fine. So Alt F8 again to run a macro. Click on Run. So it got changed to 1000 now. So similarly, let's do another check. So for 87, we have 500 as a unit price. Go back to auto. So let's filter on 87. And the unit price is 500, right? So let's change it to 800. Now go back to any sheet. And any pivot table is fine. So click on Alt F8. Click on Run. Now it has got changed. So that ideally means your macro is working fine. So now go ahead and save your file. 